Tim Lincecum on the bump by the bay. The two-time reigning Cy Young Award winner at perfect 5-0 in the year, but roughed up in his last outing, allowing a season high of five runs and a no decision versus the D-backs. And this one taking on the Nats and stumbling again early. Adam Kennedy with an RBI single in the third. Nigel Morgan trips at the dish, but it still counts. One zip, same frame. Here comes the hammer. That ball is rammed out to right center. It is over the head of Aaron Rowan. Oh, yeah. Kennedy scores. Dunn stops at third, and the Nationals lead 2-0. Josh Willingham has the Nats in front, two zip, and they're not done. Still top three, Ian Desmond goes the other way. Shoots this one to right, it'll score Adam Dunn. Willingham is tagged out easily, but not before the Nationals take a three-zip lead. Bottom three Giants trying to get some back. Andres Torres goes up the middle. Nice D by Ian Desmond. Have another peak. Fields, wheels, and fires. That ends the frame. It's still 3-0. Top five. It's now four-zip. We saw Desmond on D. Here he is with the stick. Desmond on a half swing. Base hit to right. That'll score two more. And the Nationals lead 6-0. That would do it for Lincecum. Four and two-thirds innings, his shortest outing on the year. Would his bats be able to bail him out? Bottom six, Juan Uribe down on strikes. Then in the seventh, it's the hammer once again. Josh Willingham to left, an RBI single. Make it 7-2, Washington in front. We go to the ninth. They're going to end this thing in style. Benji Molina goes to third. Look at Ryan Zimmerman. Starts the 5-4-3 DP. The Nats get one more out and win this thing 7-3, lighting up Lincecum in the process. He allows six runs and six hits. It's his first ever May loss. He was 8-0 in 19 career starts in the month. He's allowed a combined 11 runs in his last two outings. Thanks in large part to Josh Willingham and Ian Desmond in this one. They go for a combined four hits and five rivies.